so day three at the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge. We're done with the qualifying rounds for the bench rest. I'm pretty sure I qualified, but I'm gonna check now and um, to see what my score was for yesterday, just to make sure. We've got precision rifle shoot this morning, which was the event that I won last year, so I'm pretty confident about it. But it's gonna be tricky. I mean, got a bit of wind this morning, so those no limit targets are gonna be. Uh, you're gonna think about your strategy very carefully. And yeah, apparently there's a big cold front coming. It's gonna be close to freezing later. So that's gonna make things interesting, but let's just have some fun. Yeah, let's enjoy the morning and this afternoon, the slug competition. So it's gonna be a full day. Let's see how it goes. Okay. We'll get started on the rules for the uh, Precision Marksmen and uh, we'll get you guys shoot. The Precision Marksman Challenge is probably my favorite event because it's the closest thing to the kind of hunting I do at home. You have 10 stages to get through with a time limit on each stage. You get one shot per target and the point system is tiered so you get more points for more difficult targets. Targets go all the way out to 100 yards and in wind like this you have to know your gun really really well. The understanding of the ballistics involved with this kind of shooting is my strong point but you have to also have a strategy especially for the know your limit targets. If you miss one of them you, you get zero points. So you've got to you got to know what you're capable of and you've got to know when to stop. So my strategy will probably be stopping um, you know, somewhere two-thirds of the way through and just taking those points because I know there's going to be some greedy people out there going to lose all their points. Um, that, saying, that said though, if I can see all my hits very clearly and I know where the pellet's going, I might take the risk because you might need to do something drastic in this competition to win it. But yeah, my, my strategy in this win is probably to play it safe. Um, but we'll see, you know. Going out to 100, which is different to the speed shoot, which only went out to like 70 or something. So it's going to be tricky, but I, I know my drop well. The only thing I need to think about is the wind, I think. If I, if I can get the left and right correct, I think I'll be in for a treat. And that uh, Athlon Aries that I have is going to help a lot. It goes to 30 times magnification, crystal clear, extremely uh, good quality dialing on that scope. So I think we're going to be spot on. Three, two, one. Fire. There were only two people that got maximum points on the KYLs, I was one of them, and that's 30 points from one stage, which is huge in the bigger scheme of things. The KYL stage really tests your precision, but other stages test your ability to remain accurate in awkward positions, and even transition from standing to kneeling to prone. So it's a really good test of your all-round abilities, and a realistic picture of what hunting outdoors on farms and in the bush can look like. Out of almost 100 shooters in pro and sportsman's class, I uh, took first place, so I'm extremely happy with that. Second year in a row that I've won, but this year meant so much more just because of the number of good shooters in the mix. You'll see some footage from the prize giving in the next video. Straight after the Precision Marksman Challenge, we had the Slug Challenge, and I wasn't able to film any of the big ball, but I did take part in the small ball. This was similar to the Precision Marksman, with the main difference being that targets were all the way out to 200 yards and no closer than 100, so extremely challenging in these conditions. So, we've got the small ball slug competition coming up. That's 140 foot pounds and under. Um, this is the first time I'm actually shooting like a slug type competition. I've come here in the past and filmed the big ball competitions and really enjoyed watching stuff, but I haven't been able to take part because in South Africa we've got a 22 caliber restriction so it's nothing I can practice for at home but the small ball slug competition opens up the door for me to compete with the 22 caliber uh, smooth twist X slug liners which is actually something I worked on so it's even if I don't do well I, it's fun to take part in a competition with a barrel that I've, I've made myself which is really cool so you know there's other bigger guns here you know close to the 140 foot pound mark that are shooting projectiles with much higher BC than mine so they definitely have the edge but uh, it's going to be fun just to see how the little 22s at like 65 foot pound can do um, in comparison to that. Um, should be interesting. So let's take a look. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be fun. As mentioned, I did use a 22 for this competition. I decided to shoot 30 grain 217 slugs at around 960 feet per second. From a ballistics point of view, these slugs should have been beaten easily by some of the bigger 257s, 30s and 357s shooting at over 100 foot-pounds but the top three places were actually taken with the 22s out of FX slug liners which makes me extremely happy having worked on that project. The 25 next to my name on the result sheet was actually a mistake 
I was shooting a 217. So day three at the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge has just come to an end. We had a really cold morning this morning, but it's just heated up. So we're outside here at the house. The guys are setting up for the finals tomorrow, doing some practice at 100 yards in the wind. Um, quite a few of us um, who are staying in this house qualified, which is fantastic. So we can all kind of support each other and be in it together. Um, we had a really good day today. I shot the Precision Marksman Challenge and I shot the Small Ball Slug Challenge. It's hard to tell, you know, how uh, how we did because you kind of shoot against people in, in your squad. But I think it came out quite nicely. We'll only know the results, I think, on, on Sunday. But yeah, I'm in the Speed Finals tomorrow and I'm in the um, Bench Rest Finals tomorrow. So I'm kind of a little bit in it for everything and anything can happen. So yeah, I'm going to probably just enjoy the evening, get an early night, be fresh for tomorrow and... Um, yeah, try to do my best tomorrow. But for now, sun's out, pool's ready, practice is happening, and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Alright, so I'm standing here with Marcus from MPLA Air Guns. Um, he's an awesome guy, he's been staying with us here um, over the last few days and we've really enjoyed his, his company here. Hello guys. Um, yeah, so one of the important things I feel is, is growing the sport all over the world, the sport of air gunning and obviously there's, there's certain uh, areas and, and certain languages that a lot of us English speaking YouTubers can't reach um, because a lot of people don't speak English obviously. Um, but here's someone who's uh, from Brazil who's doing videos in Portuguese and he's doing a really good job so if you are living in Brazil or if you're Portuguese and you, you want to be entertained if you want and you want to learn stuff about air guns MPLA air guns I'll put a link down below this guy's really awesome nice thank you Matt uh, and for those who speak English or in Spanish all my videos I add subtitles in English and Spanish so if you want to see something if you want to have a, a look on the videos if you just speak English and you don't mind to reading the subtitles so go for it and yeah have fun one of the main highlights of my evening was a pool game between Giles and Ernest Ernest pretended that he had no idea how to play pool and hustled like crazy before pulling out the stops at the last moment and taking the win it was really funny to watch do I have to hit my ball yeah you have to hit your ball at least that's the part of the game otherwise you give him two shots yeah No, he's now getting two shots from me. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was like the best pool game of ever time. Yeah. 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 I do, I gotta shake the hand. I think we won a smacking game. Hey. Alex, you're right, he we can hustle. He can hustle. Right. Bend over, Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I missed! Thank you, sir. Nice smack. I love this smack. If you'd like to see extra content like extended episodes, old uploads that YouTube took down, or early releases of upcoming content, head over to airgun101.com. You'll be able to find many other airgun content creators on the site and a safe place where we can build a community and help each other out. It's a real practical way of supporting content creators like myself without paying a cent as the sponsors of the website help contribute towards the running costs of my channel. Alternatively, you can find me on other social media platforms, on my vlog channel and on Patreon. Thank you so much for the support and I'll see you on the next one.